Hey, what's going on, paranormal people? Welcome to this episode of Paranormal Road Trip Update. There's going to be more of these as we go in the future. We're going to be updating some of the stories. You know, we just kind of want to follow up with some of the places that we've been uh, or even do corrections if we need to do corrections, you know. Uh, but this one here, this one's actually a really, really interesting update. This update is on the urban legends of Booth, Texas. When me and Roddy went to go look for the uh, secret government installation where they were supposedly doing human experiments and they created cat people. Now, we realize most of it's probably based on urban legend. We get that. We went looking for the uh, secret government base and we just couldn't find it. So we assumed that that probably was part of the urban legend. Turns out that it wasn't. We had a buddy who was uh, out in the area during a golf tournament send me a picture of a sign that showed a government installation. So it seems like it's based on, uh, you know, certain truths. So that's what we're doing now. It's gonna be a quick video. We're gonna drive out there. We're gonna look for the uh, secret government installation. If you haven't watched the episode, click on the link here. Let's go, let's go check it out. All right, here we go. And right about this time is where I started seeing the signs from the pictures that my buddy sent me. And then I rolled up onto this and I wasn't expecting this. A big sign says private property, 24 hour surveillance, two gates. And I thought it was really interesting, but I really wanted to keep driving to see how far it went, how far it went back. And I didn't record the whole time, just a quick shot here because I didn't feel like I needed to. And that's when a white van pulled up where it dead ended, there was another gate. I wasn't recording, and a white van came out and just sat there. It came out the gate and sat there and watched me, and that's when I decided maybe it'd be best if I leave. But I also try to record the van and not be too obvious about it, but unfortunately, you really can't see it too well on the uh, side view mirror. At this point, I wanted to go back to the other double gate. I was just about to get out and maybe take some close-up pictures, but what you don't see is another van had rolled right past me, and this is where I reacted. You can't see it. It was a consumer van, so it wasn't a white van, and I didn't think much of it. But then, as soon as it passed me up, it busted a Yui, came back, and it seemed like it was following me. You can't really see it here either, and this is when I decided I'm just gonna leave. That there's uh, too much of a coincidence that another van busted a Ewing started. It seemed like it followed me, and this is when I decided that uh, it was best if I just leave the area. Whew. Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but but we found it. We found it. You know, this is going to be a quick five minute video just to follow up. Uh, I wanted to find the sign, go up to it, shoot the video, and then leave. But whenever I saw it, I decided just to keep driving. I'm like, wow, I want to see how far this goes back. And then I saw the gate uh, that said 24 hour surveillance. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to have to, I want to record that. So I just wanted to see how far it went, kept going. And that's when the white van came out on the area 51 and so uh, i figured that was the point to turn around and so as i was driving down another van came up started driving down that road as soon as i passed up they made a u-turn in the cemetery came back out and i don't know if they're following me it wasn't the same looking van but what are the odds and it was at that point where i knew that it was uh it's better to leave. And you know, in Paranormal Road Trip, we're about respecting 
the laws about respecting private property and privacy. We, we, we don't push it. It's not worth it. It's not worth taking a risk of losing your freedom, especially your life. <sighs> you know what? The part of the urban legend of Boot, Texas kind of checked out. We found a secret government installation. Now, whatever they do there, who knows? It, it's all speculation. It, it could be just an uh, uh, environmental preserve or something, you know, or, or for wildlife preserve. Well, we don't know, but it was a little strange that a van came out, a white van came out, and a very reminiscent of Area 51. But uh, anyway, just goes to show you that, you know, some legends do have a basis in truth. But the human nature, we tend to fill in the gaps with, you know, stories and stuff like that. And, you know, and, and they just get bigger and bigger, you know, these tall, these tall tales. So take it for what it's worth. We found it. And uh, that's, that's the update for now. And, uh, you know, it was fun. Now, now I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my beer in a safe surrounding. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on the update. And we'll see you on the next Paranormal Road Trip. Peace.